So let's go ahead and graph the model for the PE ratio that we've just found. Your team will probably find several of these models and eventually you'll need to pick out the one that you think is the very best. So I'm going to go down to where I see the plus in my shared worksheet and I'm going to click on that and I'm going to rename this model for PE ratio. You might have model for PE ratio 1, model for PE ratio 2 when you go through and look at the different possibilities. So in A1 I'm going to put years since 1 1 2013 and as always I'm going to wrap the text on that. In B1 I'm going to put the heading PE ratio that's where I'm going to put the data, the four data points that I've already calculated. And then in C1, estimate of PE ratio. Alright, so now I need to put in uh, all the numbers that I'm going to use for years. And since I want to go beyond just two years, I might want to go out a little bit farther. I'm going to go ahead and use a fill to do that. So I'll put zero. 0.25 as my first entries. I'm going to click on the A2 and drag while holding the mouse down to A3 and then grab that fill handle and drop it down. And let's see, let's go down to about here. So that gets me down to about 8.25. That looks pretty good. Alright, let me scroll back up. Now I need to put in those PE ratio values I have. And remember, we calculated that in an earlier assignment. So I'm going to go to that. And there they are right there. So I'm going to click and drag and say copy. Now I need to be very careful in the next step. If I just simply click here and say paste, it's going to try and paste all the formulas and unfortunately those formulas will be broken when I go to a new worksheet. So instead I'm going to say edit, paste special, paste values only. And there are my PE ratios that I calculated earlier. Now I'm going to put in the formula. So I'm going to go up to C2 and I'm going to have to type in that big formula that I uh, found earlier. So I'm going to say equals a parentheses for everything in the numerator, 17 divided by 15 times A2 plus 7,201 divided by 150. So that was the model for the price. And I'll end that with parentheses. And now I'm going to divide on the bottom in parentheses. 27 divided by 25 times A2 plus 293 divided by 100. End my parentheses and now I'll go ahead and say enter. So that calculates the PE ratio at the year zero. Now I'm going to go ahead, click on that, grab my fill bar, and I'm going to fill that all the way down to match up with everything in uh, column A. And there we go. So the final thing I have to do now is to graph all of this. So I'll go ahead and click in A1. While holding down the mouse button, I'm going to drag all the way down to the bottom of the data. Sometimes this can be a little tricky because it doesn't want to scroll so much, but there we go. Now we'll insert, chart, and as before we'll need to go over to charts, select scatter, and a scatter plot. So you can see the data points here on the line and my couple of data points over here. Now let's add on some axes labels and a chart title. So let's see, we'll say Verizon VZ 
So we've gone ahead and identified exactly the company we're working with. Horizontal axis title, years since 1 slash 1 slash 2013. And on left vertical, it's not dollars per share anymore. Now it's just PE ratio. So I'm going to say PE ratio. And I think that's pretty good. Now, we might want to modify our window here because you see how this stops here. So I might go up to horizontal. And my data goes out to 8.25, 8 but I'm just going to say 0 to 8 here just so it cuts it off at a nice number. All right, so let's go ahead and see what that looks like. So grab that, move it off to the side. So I can see my model. So the PE ratio is dropping off. A little hard to see the data points. So let's go ahead and make these data points smaller. So I'm going to select two pixels. And I'm going to put them in black. So now I can see that it's going through the pair of points like it should. And it's going a little bit above the others, but I can see that my PE ratio is dropping, dropping, dropping. So my price to earnings is getting lower and lower, but it is leveling off. What would be nice to know and what you should figure out for your project is at what level will it level off?